The Film Learn 60K short film competition with over $1,000 in prizes is now on. Head to filmlearn.com to download your entry pack and to enter your short film. So, stop. Uh, uh. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learn, the show dedicated to learning some filmmaking and learning good. And this video is just a quick tip episode. It's sort of a direct response to the Cisco Vibe Blast effects tutorial where people were asking in the comments how I actually made the Vibe Blast. And one guy said he's leaving the channel because all I do is make friggin' packs now. Now the reason I didn't go into how I made the Vibe Blast is because I used an old Japanese plugin that makes a whole bunch of speed lines. It's how I made the anime effects pack as well. I had a bit of a look around and it's not a plugin that's readily available now. I picked it up probably six or seven years ago, and I've just used it sort of intermittently since. Basically, the Vibe Blast is just a whole bunch of speed lines composited together, just like in the anime effects pack. So what I've done is add a link to the description where you can download just a couple of different versions of the speed lines, and I'll show you how to composite them all together and then turn them into a Vibe Blast. That way you can make your own custom Vibe Blast and just go nuts. So just head down to the description, head to filmlearner.com slash downloads. I'm not gonna call it a download pack, it's just some examples of some speed lines, and then let's get started. Okay guys, here we are in After Effects, and this is the base comp for the Vibe Blast effect that I made. If I turn off this adjustment layer, you can see that essentially it's just a whole bunch of speed lines of various lengths and thicknesses, all thrown together to form some kind of wave. And if I click on the adjustment layer itself, you can see that the only effects that I have applied to this comp is a CC glass and a directional blur. And if I turn that back on, the CC glass and directional blur merely blends them all together. I added a couple of iterations of the speed lines above the adjustment layer just to have a few highlights of lines as well. Now if I click on one of these solid layers, you can see that it's a plugin called P Speed Lines, and this is part of a Japanese plugin called PSoft. As I said before, the company as far as I know doesn't sell this plugin anymore, which is why I didn't go into it. But if you can find it, be sure to grab it because it's really awesome. Now, from there, I added this lines comp to a new comp to make our Vibe Blast animation. So let's check that one out. So as you can see in this comp, we have our lines comp, two adjustment layers, and a 3D camera. I've turned off the camera just to show you what it looks like in 3D. Now the two adjustment layers only have two versions of the glow effect on them. One is a softer glow, the bottom one, and the top one is a more intense glow. By combining the two, you get a much softer and overall more intense glow. Now if we scrub along the timeline, you can also see that I've animated a mask path to make it look like the blast is actually firing out, when in reality, it's not moving at all. Pretty clever. I've also added an end animation so that the blast, well, finally does end. These are just simple frame by frame mask animations, nothing more complicated than that. From there, if I turn on the 3D camera, you can see that I've placed the camera in a perspective that sells it even more that the blast is shooting out of something or someone. Really nothing more complicated than that, gang. A bunch of animated lines with a CC glass filter, a little directional blur, comped together with two glow layers, and a bit of mask path animation, and of course, a 3D camera. So, now that we've gone over the one I made, how about we make a new one right now using the downloads? Alrighty then, with a stupid sound effect, let's get started. <clears throat> so here we are, and I've imported all my lines and I'm ready to go. So firstly, let's grab lines five and drop it right here to make a new comp. Let's then follow it up by dropping in four, three, two, and one, all on top of each other in that order. From there, we'll grab line four and duplicate it twice by hitting Control D. We'll then offset the first duplicate slightly, like so, and then we'll offset the second duplicate in the other direction, like so. If we solo these three layers, you'll be able to see that we're left with thick lines that fill out almost all of the negative space in the comp. Let's unsolo those and move on. I didn't modify lines three, so I'm gonna just skip over that and go to lines two. We'll then of course duplicate it and then offset it only slightly, just slightly like so. That way it forms some kind of small pulse wave, I suppose. And lastly, grab lines one, duplicate it, and we'll grab the top layer and offset that so that both layers are filling up the whole comp. There we go. Now combine all of them together and this is what we have. Oh, a whole bunch of lines. Let's just add the adjustment layer and make this cooler. Huh? Now don't forget we need to drag the adjustment layer below both of our line one layers. And from there, we'll head to effect, stylize and add CC glass. Next, we'll set the softness to 14.4, the height to 100 and the displacement to 267. So what's next? Let's add our directional blur. Head to effect, blur and sharpen and add directional blur. 
let's then set the direction to minus 87 and the blur length to 280. Okay, we've made our Vibe Blast base. Cool, now let's finish it off. Let's open up a new comp and make the resolution 4600 by 1692 and we'll name it, I don't know, Blast. There we go, and we'll click OK. From there, we'll drag our Lines comp in, and next, we'll add an adjustment layer, and make that two. From there, we'll head to Effect, Stylize and add a Glow. We'll then set the Radius to 22, and the Intensity to 7.2. Let's then select that second adjustment layer, and head up and add a second Glow. Only this time, we're gonna do some slightly different settings. And by that I mean, we're just gonna set the Radius to 118. Done. Now from here, we need to grab the pen tool and draw an animated mask path. So we'll start by moving our lines layer a few frames forward on the timeline, like so, so that we have a pause between when the comp starts and the lines comp starts. This sells the illusion of it starting or bursting out, I suppose. From there, we can start to mask. I'm gonna grab the pen tool and drawing a smaller rough mask, almost like a muzzle flash. We'll then of course, hit F and feather it out anywhere from 50 to 75 pixels. I'll then go two frames forward and then extend that mask. There we go. And then I'll skip ahead another two frames and extend it further. Just make sure you don't go past the edges of the lines comp because that'll look crappy. If you can make it a shape like mine, the better. Follow the same idea when you get to the end of the comp, or near the end of the comp. Add a keyframe, skip ahead two frames, and move your mask close to the end of the vibe blast, and modify the shape again. There we go. Skip ahead two more frames, hit Control shift d and delete the excess. You now have a start and end to your blast. Last step, yeah that's right, we're going to make our lines comp 3D, head up to layer and add a camera. Then, it's just a matter of moving that camera into place to suit your shot. And that, my friends, is how you build your own custom Vibe Blast. So there you have it, guys. We just took some random speed lines and we turned it into a Vibe Blast. But like I said, the reason I didn't go into the whole building process is because I was using an older Japanese plugin that is no longer available. But I hope that has satisfied or satiated your hunger for building your own Vibe Blast, guys. If it has and you enjoyed this video, please like and share it. If you are new here, why not hit subscribe or check out my Patreon or enter the Film Learn 60K short film competition or maybe check out the Vibe Blast tutorial itself right there. And until next time, and whatever we're gonna do, check out my social media and keep learning.